Hello, JP and Iowa. Coming at you in my shed. So here's another shed talk. You ready for this one? Hopefully it's short and sweet. All right, so I'm dressed up in the shed, right? Why? It's because I'm going to my first graduation party. So my first graduation party means I got to give a little commencement address for the graduates of 2020. So this is JP and Iowa's advice um, session, session for JP and Iowa Shed Talk. Coming at you after I tell you about my sponsor, of course. Sponsor today is, oh, it sounds like a beer, but it's not a beer. Not drinking right now. It's Fresca. Fresca. It is cool, refreshing, and it's such an old soda. soda. And guess what? It doesn't say diet on it, but Fresca is no calorie, a diet soda. It's refreshing, no caffeine, and no sugar. Good, because Zach drinks a lot of these too. And I do too, and it's very refreshing. And if you look, they have different kinds, but get the grapefruit citrus. That's the original, original Fresca. The other ones don't taste so good. And by the way, Norscott Foods, please carry more than two cases a month. I, I go and get two cases, and then you don't have any for a long time. So for your Norscott people, uh, Norscott Foods, please carry more Fresca. All right, so sponsor this Shed Talk, <sighs> Fresca. Okay, let's move on. I know you guys are probably wanting to hear my advice for the graduates of 2020. So here it is. Of course, you guys probably know that my daughter is a graduate of 2020, and we know what's going on today in the world, um, the COVID-19, which I'm not going to talk about. I'm not going to give any, because I, we've had enough talk about that. We've had enough people talk about these poor seniors. Yeah, it does suck, and I know a lot of people are getting commencement addresses, the famous people, but this is the most famous person you'll ever see, probably. Anyway, do a commencement. Um, COVID, don't talk about it. Yeah. It sucks, and you guys got a different kind of graduation this year, but guess what, you're gonna remember it, and the 2020 class is gonna be special because of that, and that's cool. So take take my advice, coming at you in about two seconds. I actually wrote some stuff down on my computer so I don't rattle on and on and on. So my screen saver kicked in, and I lost my thing, but I think I remember some of it. Let's see if we can pull it up again. Once again, this is unedited. My dog's barking in the background because he sees a squirrel. All right, so my advice. First off, my advice to every shed talk is to be kind and hold the door for people. So that's, of course, where I start with. Be kind to everyone you see and everybody you know for the next few years and the rest of your life. Some of you will be going on to college. Some of you will be going on to trade school. Some of you guys will be farming and girls. Um, maybe you'll be doing other things, uh, working, going on the workforce. All is good. Everyone has their own ambition and just do something and do it well. That brings on my next advice. So not only be kind, but whatever you do, do it well. Do a good job, take pride of whatever you do, and do it right. Don't do it half-ass. Today's world is way too half-ass for me. Do it right and do it good. Okay, that's the, and the third advice is, some things gonna stress you out in life. Some things gonna get you down. Some things you should remember, some things you should forget. Forget them bad things. Cherish the good things. And I say flush down the toilet the bad situations in your life. You're going to have some. You're going to have some downers. You're going to have some tough times. Whatever you do, just make sure you know how to flush them. Don't let it linger and get on with your life. Now I may think, pulled up, thank you, because I'm glad it did, because I want to make sure I hit the next vice. So... Also, be able to communicate, be able to debate, be able to have a debate with others that are not, maybe don't have your views. You don't have to be completely left or completely right. You can be in the middle or you can be on the left and the right, whatever. But listen to people. God gave us two eyes, two ears, if you heard this before, and one mouth. So listen twice as long, twice as much. Watch, watch people. And please, don't be mouthy. And don't blast things that you really don't know. Do your research. Debate in a kind way. Another advice for you. When you protest, as you know what's going on now, protest in a, great, in a good way. Don't be violent. Don't take harm on anybody. You can do your own protest and however you want. So here's probably the most, biggest advice going on going for the rest of your life. Please, 
please put the TP in your toilet paper over, not behind. That's the most important thing. Anyway, I hope some of this was serious. I hope you smiled and laughed a little because you got to be kind. You got to be grateful. You got to say thank you. Hold the door for people, even in today's world. And remember, 2020 graduates, this is going to be a special time for your life, in your life. And you're going to move on to the next part of your life that's going to be even cool. You're going to move on whatever that is. It's going to be different. You're probably going to lose some friends. You're going to make a lot more friends. You're going to make a lot more relationships. You're going to see a lot more people. And you're going to enjoy life. And that's what you need to do. Things are going to get tough. Please find an outlet, whatever that is. Sports, um, find a yoga, I don't care. Find an outlet when you go, especially if you're going to college because it gets pretty stressful. Even if you're going to a new job and you're stressed out, find some kind of outlet. Find some way to relax. You have to do that. And once again, put the TP over, not under. JP in Iowa, commencement address 2020 for all the graduates. And a special, I love you, Emma Powell.